Hey guys, this is Ankur Sharma. You're watching Super Football, and it is all but confirmed that Nikola Adam will be leaving the Under-17 team. And uh, I personally think that this is a massive, massive blow for us. I mean, we can't really comment on the crux of the story because it's not really out in the open right now. Uh, I personally, I haven't seen the Under-17 team play that much, but I think he was doing really well. And it is a massive, massive blow because the World Cup is like what eight months away now. Now. I asked a few people around the country to give their opinion on this whole matter and let's see what they have to say about this. Suddenly we hear that you know there are accusations of abuse and a harsh treatment meted out to the players and apparently players have complained to the AIFF regarding him. If there uh, was a case of abuse and uh, the bad approach from the coach then certainly he has to go. But um, other than the uh, Federation, nobody knows what exactly the truth is, rest all is conspiracy, so we just uh, can't rely on that. To be fair to him, his team played pretty modern football, I would say, where uh, they try to keep the ball on the ground, pass it around. But uh, sacking a coach, uh, just, uh, I mean, that to a youth coach just based on results is probably not the right thing to do is what I, uh, what I feel. It's been a very, very badly done move. Not because of the fact that he's leaving, but because of the fact that how things have gone about. So much allegations have come against him and it took so much time to, you know, decide the whole thing. And bloody the sports ministry also had to come into the fray for this. Or can't the federation just take their own stance and say, you know, we want you out? Has it been good for the under-70 team? Not at all. Because now they have to work with a new coach and he's barely got, what, seven months to work about, or go about it for working, setting up a system and making it happen. I honestly don't know who can replace him. Perhaps it's someone who would be who the players are familiar with who would, who would be better. I've heard of this. I've heard of a name, Richard Hood. He's worked with the AIF before at the, at the youth levels. Perhaps he might do a good job. I don't know who's going to come in next six months to coach the under-17 boys. And uh, it is not some regional tournament, and it's World Cup, and there is some real uh, competition in that. It's whether AFF which have threatened the uh, under-17 boys to uh, make Nicola Adam get sacked or whether whatever the boys is telling about Nicola Adam is true. But I don't know how a new coach is going to come in less than six months and get in his philosophy into team and uh, make it work in the World Cup. This comes as a shocking move but probably the right move at a very wrong time. This should have been done probably a maybe a year ago or something because irrespective of how the team is playing the results have not been great we have come last in the BRICS cup we have come last in our uh, AFC cup group uh, we have come last in the uh, uh, Grankin memorial tournament and and the results have not come in, out in favour although we might have lost to, uh, lost with small margins to let's say teams like Brazil but uh, in the end what matters is the result he should have stayed with the current uh, national under 17 team because he has been uh, well minded uh, he he was given a free hand uh, uh, there were there have been several uh, exposure trips uh, for the in uh, as a part of the preparation and so on apparently he wasn't very kind to the um, he was very harsh to uh, to the to the to his wards now being the country and he he uh, i mean he probably would try to implement stuff uh, in his way which did not suit the indian sensibilities it's quite baffling at this point of time uh, to get a new coach and build the team and so on uh, mind it i mean uh, not that india didn't uh, do exceedingly well during his tenure but let's let's also keep in mind that we have been playing against some extremely tough opponents it is interesting isn't it i mean you can't really pick a side you don't know who's right and who's wrong but all i know is that the under 17 team has been dealt with a massive massive blow and i would love to hear your thoughts on this do you think we'll be able to replace nikola adam do you think he has been good do you think he's not been so good whatever it is guys let's have a chat about it in the comments i'd love to hear your thoughts Great thing is that one year before the tournament, the main civil work is done. Yeah, okay. So there's yeah. small work, there's decoration, there's stuff. Yeah. But the main civil work has which is done. A has been done. Which is new for India, isn't it? 